I have opened the file fusebox underscore clip dot IAM. I'm going to create some snap fit features to hold the cover on. Turn off the visibility of the base part to make it easier to work on the cover. Activate the cover by double clicking on it. I have already created the sketch needed to create the snaps to save some time. The sketch has a number of work points that have been located along the edge of the lip. From the model tab, select Snap Fit located on the plastic part panel. Since we already have an unconsumed sketch, the snaps have been placed from the sketch. You could also select On Point from the drop down list. The centers have been selected in the sketch. The solid button is grayed out as this is not a multi-body part. Looking at the preview, we see that the beam direction needs to be flipped. The hook direction also needs to be changed. Select the hook direction button. Now select the proper indicator as needed to properly orient each hook. You may have to click it multiple times. Selecting the Extend checkbox will automatically adjust the length of the hook as needed. Let's view the effect of the Extend option. There are two types of hooks that can be created. The Cantilever Snap Fit Hook and the Cantilever Snap Fit Loop. The tabs change based on the type of snap you are creating. For this example, select the loop. Select the Clip tab. Here we can set the exterior size of the clip. Enter 5 mm for the width and 4 mm for the length. Enter 1 mm for the thickness at wall. This will give us a flat clip with the wall and the top values being the same. Select the Catch tab. We can see the effect that it has on the preview. Enter 2 mm for the catch opening. Since this is a plastic part, we need a draft on the face of the clip. Select a Draft from the Modify panel. Select the top face for the pull direction. Change the draft angle to 5 degrees. Naturally, you would want to add the draft on the other clips as well. Use the return command to go back to the assembly. Turn on the visibility of the base part. Activate the view tab. Select a section view located on the appearance panel. Select the half section view. Select the YZ origin plane and flip the direction if needed. Activate the base by double clicking on the component. Create a new sketch. Project the clip loop onto the new sketch. Use the offset command located on the modify panel to offset the projected geometry a little bit. Add a dimension to the sketch to constrain it. 
enter 0.12 millimeters. Extrude the sketch 1.5 millimeters. I'm going to add a chamfer to improve this snap, but you could use whatever shape you needed to create your snap lug. 